Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of groups and why you need to model each and everything in SketchUp with groups. Let's go. So let's create a new SketchUp file. Go to file and click on new. All right, so Mele is back. So now we need to create two rectangles and then push them out just so that I can show you the difference. So I'm going to make my first rectangle and then my second rectangle. And now I need to give a height or an extrusion. So I'm going to use the push pull tool, select the face, press P on your keyboard to activate the push pull tool and give a height of say five feet. This one as well. And let's make one of these boxes a group. So to make it a group, you can triple click on the face and it would select all the faces and edges in this object. And now you can right click and click on make group. All right, so we have one object which is a group and one object which is not a group. Now the reason why we create groups in SketchUp is because of something called stickiness. So as you can see, we have this object here and if I try to move this, so I'm going to press M on my keyboard to activate the move tool without anything selected. Now if I click on this edge point and start moving, you can see that I move only that edge point and not the entire object. But in this case, it's a group. So if I click on move tool, and if I click here to select the group, I can move the entire entity. So that's one of the main differences. Now let's say I make a box here, which is connected to this object. And I'm going to give a thickness again. Similarly, I'm going to make another box here and give a thickness here. Now, since this is a group, and if I move this, it's not really stuck to this face or this new box. It's a separate entity and I can move it around wherever I like. And if I try to move this, so I'm going to select some faces and edges of this box. And now if I try moving this, you can see that it's stuck. So this is called stickiness. Where if it's not a group and I make something attached to this face, it's always going to get stuck to that face. So always get into the habit of creating groups and then placing them together. This helps a lot and it would definitely ease your modeling workflow going forward. Now here's a quick tip to make groups super fast in SketchUp and that's by assigning a shortcut G to make groups. So you're going to do that by going to Windows, going to Preferences, clicking on Shortcuts and search for Make so we have make group in the bottom here. I'm going to add a shortcut G and click on plus. So I've already assigned it to make group. Click on yes. In your case, it may have been assigned to make components. I would suggest that you reassign it to make groups because we generally use more groups in our models than components, especially when it comes to interior design. So click on yes and press OK. So now to make groups, all you need to do is make your rectangle. Double click on the face to select the faces and edges and then simply press G on your keyboard to make it a group. So now it is a separate group. Now if I enter this group, you can see that the rest of the area gets grayed out and we have a bounding box here and then we have a face inside. So this helps me model only whatever is inside this group. So I'm going to just push this out. So we have another group. Now I'm going to switch on something called Outliner in our default tray. If it doesn't show up in your default tray, you can go to Windows, Default tray and switch it on here. Or you can right click on the default tray, click on Manage Trays, select the default tray and switch on Outliner. So what Outliner does is it gives a name or it details out a hierarchy of your groups. So we have one group here, we have another group and then we have one more group here. You can also have a group within a group, which is called a nested group. Now let's say, for example, you want to nest this group inside this group. So to do that, you need to select this group, press Ctrl X, and then you need to enter this group. So now you can see that we are inside this group because of this bounding box. And to enter the group, you need to double click. After you enter the group, go to Edit and click on Paste in Place. So as soon as I paste it in place, you can see that this group, which is this, is now under the main group. 
So we have a nested group within the main group. I will be showing you instances of where we use nested groups, components and more in the main course. So that is a quick tutorial into groups. I would highly recommend you guys to make everything in groups from your on out. And I will be showing it to you shortly when we start modeling our room in SketchUp. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.